While I was out of town, I received a letter from my voters registration office stating that uh, they had received information that I am a deceased person and that I had 21 days to come in, you know, to uh, make us, so they, you know, to verify if this is true or not. I was unable to go in within the 21 day period because by the time I uh, received this letter, it was already probably more than 15 days already gone past and I was out of town. My wife read me the letter over the phone. He was out of town, so I'm reading the mail and I open it up and see that this um, thing says he's deceased and he has this period of time that he's supposed to come in. He's not able to do it because he's out of town. He's been voting all his life. It's just almost seemed like it's a scam. Something's definitely wrong. The information source is incorrect. And are there other people out there who this has also happened to? I ended up, my name being taken off of the voters registration list, so now I'm not a registered voter. And of course, I am not deceased. That's how it all started. I am a retired postal worker. I was very concerned about the mailing of this particular letter. Simple reason because it was sent first class. It was not certified. A lot of time mail is misdelivered or lost. If a person doesn't receive this mail, it was uncertified. And I would have went out to the polls to vote. At that time, I would have found out I was not registered to vote. And Louisiana doesn't have a law where you register and vote same day. And I've been voting uh, ever since I was 18 years old. My first year of college, that's when I started voting. I'm 63 years old. I've, I've, I have always voted, you know, and um, I don't see how this could have happened. I have not moved to a new address. I've been at my current address for at least 25 years or longer. Voting, same poll, you know, same neighborhood and everything. I mean, so what bothered me is where did this information come from that I'm deceased? How did they come up with this? People go out and do voters registration, all of these things to try to get people's names on the mm -hmm. rolls, and then this willy-nilly um, way in which a name can be removed should not be allowed to be any type of law in any state. That's why federal regulation is needed to be sure that people just can't have their names removed in this type of manner or any manner that's not correct. Yeah. If you're gonna remove somebody's name, really make sure that you have the correct information. Try to make it easy for the thing to be changed if a mistake was made. This is completely the opposite.